Uh, welcome to the channel, everybody. Today we have this 2016, no, 2000, yeah, 2016 uh, KW T660 with a Cummins ISX. It was the last generation of Cummins ISX engines that was uh, on the market. After that, uh, Cummins X15 took over. But anyway, uh, the problem that we were having on this Cummins ISX was the following. Está bien, dele, dele, porque tiene, yo pienso que tiene agua adentro. Sí, agua tiene. Sí, la, la va a sacar al rato. Y hey, como tiene presión, pues la presión se va para el cilindro. The engine wasn't able to rotate because there was something inside, something that wasn't allowing the uh, engine to rotate. But in this case, based on the other conditions we have, we have a lot of uh, coolant pressure to the uh, coolant tank and uh, the engine wasn't overheating it was just a lot of pressure and uh, coolant consumption too and uh, of course right we have a problem internal problem with the engine but what, what kind of problem we had that was the question so of course right we have a, a problem with the cylinder head somewhere in, uh, in this engine and um, and um, and of course, right, uh, to be able to uh, know the problem, we have to remove the components. Uh, one thing very important is then the engine wasn't able to rotate because it, it was full of water, the cylinder was full of water. So in order to make this engine okay to rotate once again, was uh, to, uh, we, need, we needed to drain all the coolant from the system. And after that, the engine ran, as you can hear it. Still, the engine uh, had a problem. Uh, we had uh, some kind of broken problem, but the engine sound fine, didn't have any uh, hissing sounds or something like that. So uh, that means that the engine internally was fine. It was just probably the head gasket. That was my, my first assumption, my first uh, thought about the problem. Since we only had uh, coolant consumption and high pressure, we, we weren't getting overheating and the engine wasn't sounding, well, it didn't have any other sound, any crazy sound. And the pressure was immediate pressure. Like as, as soon as you start the engine, pressure was starting to get released immediately and the only way then that happened most of the time is because of the cylinder head casting was broken in this case we have the cylinder head completely removed and um, and uh, to get to this point you have to remove many different co uh, components of the engine in the surrounding areas of the engine so uh, it is not just to remove the cylinder head there is many things you have to follow in order to get out the cylinder head but uh, once you get to this point, you can appreciate the damage. And in this case, uh, this right here, this gray component, this is the cylinder head gasket. This is what separates the head and the cylinder uh, block. So this component right here is the one then uh, determines the tolerance between the cylinder head and the, and the cylinder uh, block and compensates that tolerance and, and gives uh, a sealing capabilities so the engine can produce compression without uh, losing that specific gap that the engine needs to produce the compression and both both of the parts are joining together without any leaks and anything so if this component goes bad of course you're gonna have leaks and most of the time the leaks are going to be compression leaks because the cylinder thing is here the cylinder is the one that has the, ma the major amount of pressure 
So we have coolant, in this case, uh, the coolant comp uh, jackets in this, in this uh, cylinder head are covered because of the cylinder head gasket. But in this case, we have another coolant jacket and then we have a, a oil jacket. Um, and that one there too. So um, that is what uh, separates, the head, the head gasket is what separates everything. So there is no pressure here in any of these ones. There is just specific ones that have pressure, but the cylinder head uh, with the cylinder and the piston, they are always gonna have pressure. And that's the reason why you wanna have my, uh, the mayor amount of pressure leaking from the cylinder. So uh, here is the issue, and that's what, that, that was the reason why we were leaking. So uh, this is the cylinder head gasket, and here we have the ring that seals the cylinder head with the uh, cylinder block and creates the compression and this one is broken right here that is broken and the compression was leaking from here and it was leaking through here and through here you can see the head gasket being broken and that was the whole reason why this engine was uh, having that malfunction the cylinder head was broken and um, of course this is not something that is um, pretty easy to do you have to remove the, the I mean disassemble the whole engine to be able to replace the cylinder head gasket um, there is a couple options we can do once we know what's the issue we can uh, send this head to a machine shop to get to get it rebuilt or to get it inspected and um, if uh, the head is okay we can reuse it in this case it seems like the head is okay we don't have any cracks we don't have any major damage than just the cylinder head, a gasket being leaking on the side uh, of the cylinder. Uh, and and that, that, that should be all right. So uh, we don't have any problems like that. So it should be okay just by replacing the cylinder head gasket and putting everything back together. But also should be better, it should be uh, even better if, uh, if you send this head to get it replaced. So if you, um, if you have your doubts about the cylinder head, you always can get it checked and everything. And if it's bad, you can replace it. But uh, in this case, we are in 2023 right now and the um, economy isn't that great at this moment. So I suppose then the easiest um, thing to do and the cheapest thing to do is to replace this, the head gasket. And it should work because the engine wasn't having any other issues besides the the compression leak but uh since we know now that the compression leak is coming just from the gasket it makes easy to understand then the amount of problems we have at this point it is just here but it doesn't mean then within like one month or one year after we install this use cylinder head back to the engine doesn't mean that the problem is not going to get uh, bigger or something else is going to happen so that is something that you ha you guys have to keep on mind if you for any reason you replace the cylinder heads i mean the cylinder head gasket because you have a broken gasket just the way it is don't expect that the cylinder head is going to last forever probably it's going to break eventually and that's gonna um, be more expensive but to right now uh, this is the issue and um here i have the uh, problem with this engine not very common this is not a very common problem usually the cylinder head cracks that's a very common problem but in this case the cylinder head uh, gasket being broken that's not something very common to do um, but um, up to this point we have the solution for the for this uh, engine and the solution will be to get this uh, cylinder head gasket replaced um, well, I don't know if you're gonna send this uh, cylinder head to be getting inspected. It, that will depend on the customer. If the customer has the budget to uh, afford this expense, we'll do it. But if he doesn't have the budget, we are just going to leave it the way it is. Um, and also, we have to replace all the other gaskets, manifolds, and all that. And that 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 will be still around like five thousand dollars, six thousand dollars repair still a little expensive because most of the components for Cummins ISXs are very, very expensive. But uh, just keep on mind and uh, 
if you get any of the issues that this engine had, that doesn't mean that you're going to have the same issue that this truck has. So that's, that's the reason why you have to inspect your truck. Uh, if you have any problems with compression leaks or coolant consumption, you have to physically inspect your uh, engine. And uh, that way you can um, identify the problem. Ju don't, don't rely only on the information I'm giving you because the problems can vary from one point to another, but uh, sometimes they have similar problems, sim similar uh, 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 reactions. So that could mean then you are not uh, doing the proper repair if your engine uh, is not getting inspected properly before doing the repair. But at this point, this is all, and I hope you like this video. Uh, check my Instagram account if you wanna see any, anything else besides trucking. I have different things going on there. Um, support the channel by checking the description below and comment uh, on the comment section. There's many information you can leave uh, and, and it will make this video more helpful. So you have answers, you have more uh, content to add besides what I'm showing you here, experiences with these uh, engines, you are always more than welcome to do that. So, and uh, thank you for watching.